So tell me about Phoenix Wright. So no one knows this anime exists, and I think that's a tragedy. It really is. It's a great show. Not least of all, because I want an excuse to cosplay as Miles Edgeworth. You would make the great Miles Edgeworth. I'm looking forward to being Miles Edgeworth. But guys, I want to be perfectly honest. Did you play Ace Attorney? Yeah, I did. Then you don't need to watch this review, because holy shit is this anime faithful to it. It really is. It's almost word for word. They even take frames of the sprites that they use for the game and replicate them perfectly in the animation. It's so obvious that this was a passion project. It was. But you should watch it anyway. Yeah, you should. Mandy? Yeah? I'm so hyped talking about this show. Me too. Like, this might be the show I'm most hyped to talk about out of everything that we've talked about, and we've talked about some great shows. We did, but this is an awesome show, dude. It really is. So, let's discuss the intro, shall we? Yeah. So, let's start out by checking out this red 3D render of the courtroom. Oh, yeah. Nice model, guys. It's a shame you don't use it for the show. I know, right? It's also a shame you couldn't render any human models. Yeah. Here's our protagonist, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright? Mr. Wright. Ah. Oh. He's running down the road. Just running. Just always running. Expect to see a lot of running in this intro. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a lot of anime shit. You know, normally I'd give this show a hard time for misleading scenes in the intro, but the show is called Ace Attorney. If you thought you were gonna watch some nerd running through cornfields, you get exactly what you deserve. I mean, it could have been about Teresa. And exactly what you deserve is a really good detective show. Yeah. This girl's Maya. No, Dylan, that's Mia. No, Mandy, I'm I'm pretty sure this is Maya. No, Dylan, it's Mia. No, see, her sister is Mia. See, Mia is a medium, although anytime she possesses Maya, I'd say she was definitely an extra large. We're talking like F cup. Wow. No, this is clearly Maya, who is a lawyer, and Mr. Wright's counsel. That's why she's always given him legal advice. Oh, I see. And now you know. And the more you know. Because knowledge is power. <laughs> and here's my boy, Edgy. Edgy! He's a romantic who likes long walks along the beach and withholding evidence from the defense counsel. What a prick. There's nothing wrong with liking long walks along the beach. <laughs> I hate sand. It's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. Not like here. Here everything's fun. <laughs> Get off me! He's also bound to miss the right by golden chains as their arguments have weighed up on the scales of justice. Mm, I like where this is going. Ooh, daddy. I'm gonna assume that's not a metaphor, they're just really into some kinky ass roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, anyone who wants to cosplay Phoenix Wright chained to me cosplaying Miles Edgeworth, you should tweet me pictures of your Phoenix Wright cosplay so we can decide if it's good enough to make the cut. God, Dylan, you're such a slut. Link in the description to our Twitter, by the way. Now, let's run through a field of sunflowers. Yay! I like the metaphor, honestly. In Japanese culture, as I understand it, sunflowers represent hope, and Phoenix is nothing if not the epitome of running on nothing but hope. That's true. He's kind of the epitome of an optimist. He really is. He is his friends running with him. This guy's Larry. Larry Butts. He murdered his girlfriend and Phoenix Wright helped him get off scot-free. God, wow, no. We'll talk more about him later. This guy's Detective Dick Cumshoe. No, no, Dylan, Gumshoe, different. No, no, it's pronounced Dick. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Dickard Cumshoes. There we go. Dickard? This dick always looks like he's ready to explode at any minute. Yeah, wow, no. These four dorks running together through a field of hope. Yeah, you're pretty screwed if this is your best defense. True story. Oh, hey, there's Mia passing by. Phoenix got to stop to get a look at those F cups. Wow, Dylan. And then we got to end the intro there. Quick, everybody out of the studio. We only have it booked for an hour. It ends so abruptly. It does. They got to make room for the Persona 4 band. <laughs> Guys, please ask us to review Persona 4 so we can make this joke again. Right. I'm so excited. Boss tippers, unite! I mean, if I discuss the deep layers of symbology in this intro, people are going to start calling me a weeb. Yeah. But they're really fast. Fascinating and really well done. You still a weeb though? I didn't discuss them! You did with me a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Bow. I can't even this anymore. Bow, 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 this conversation bow. has dissolved. Bow, 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 bow. You better not be my sister because we made out. Wow. It's a terrible representation of the show for sure, but this is clearly aimed at people that play the game given how faithful it is to it. Yeah, true. So I honestly think that it's forgivable. It is. If I'm really honest, I think this show is better than the game was. I kind of have to agree with you. And the game was really good. Oh, the game was fantastic. All, all three of the original games were. But I'm getting ahead of myself because I 
really want everyone to watch it. Ideally, from the link in the description below. Yeah. Uh, you can also visit our Patreon while you're at it and tell us to watch this show and talk about this show more because every excuse I can get to talk about this show more. Yeah, definitely. Definitely.